Hi, this is Stu from Den and DJ. We are here at Sweetwater Sound checking out an industry first, the Den and DJ Prime Go fully standalone, battery operated, smart DJ console. So we're gonna take a look at the overview of the product, the front and the back panels, and then a couple of unique features that really make the Prime Go stand out. So let's take a look first at the top panel of the Prime Go. Starting at the upper left, we have an effects unit. Now this effects unit is able to select a multitude of effects. Simply scroll through, push to click. That will activate the effect. You can change the different parameters of the effect with the parameter time the wet dry and assign it to either deck one or deck two. And then a master on off for the effect. In the center of the unit, you have a seven inch multi-touch, highly responsive touchscreen. This allows you to quickly scroll through all your music. You can swipe to load a track. You can create playlists on the fly. You can analyze tracks on the fly. Anything that comes from the Denon Prime series is fully standalone and it runs on engine OS. What that means is you don't need the aid of a computer. Now the unit itself has a four core processor built in. It'll analyze songs, set a beat grid, detect the BPM and the key. You can then set hot cues and loop points, really prepare all your music and anything you need to without the aid of a computer. Moving to the right of the top panel, we have the microphone one and two inputs with on and off, as well as shift to activate talk over. You have the booth output as well as the master output. Now right below that, you have the EQ, three band EQ, and a level for each one of the decks. Now in the main section of the unit, you have two decks that are identical, as well as a two channel mixer in the center with two different effects on the sweep effects. Number one on the sweep effect is a filter, a low pass and a high pass. And then the second effect is what's called a washout, which means it's a delayed echo out really quick and easy to do a transition using the washout. In the center, you have another way of navigating. If you don't want to use the multi-touch touchscreen on the top, you can just use the scroll knob backwards and forward to navigate through your different window panes, and then left and right to load the song to the according deck. Right below that, you have view, which allows you to change in between play and browse mode, and also shift view allows you to switch in between a horizontal and a vertical layout of your waveforms. Pressing and holding view will activate the main menu panel, allowing you to access the utility, the preferences, the source, and also recording. Moving down to the center bottom, you have a crossfader. And then let's take a look at one of the decks. So at the top of the decks, you have your performance pads. You have access to four hot cue buttons, and then hitting bank will allow you to access another four hot cues. The same with loop. I can go in and I can set four loops and then scroll through my bank and select another four loops. And then the roll feature on there, this allows me to stutter the playback of the track while it plays back in real time underneath. You do have a highly responsive jog wheel. This allows you to scrub through your track and it's even responsive enough if you'd like to do some scratching as well. You have the loop section of the track. Now this allows you to quickly activate an automatic loop based on bars that you set. And this is where you'll also use it for the beat jump and to move the loop around. Below that, you have a tempo slider and the ability to activate vinyl or deactivate vinyl. That just means when you activate vinyl, you'll be able to scroll through the track using the jog wheel or simply use it to nudge the tempo back and forth. Another way to nudge the tempo back and forth is with the pitch bend buttons right here at the bottom. This is kind of like giving the track a little nudge forward or a little nudge backwards. And then of course you have the play and the pause buttons as well. Now let's take a look at the back of the unit with all the professional ins and outs on the unit. So if we take a look at the back of the unit, you do have professional XLRs on the master output as well as RCA outputs and a quick easy switch to go in between stereo and mono. You have quarter inch for the booth out, an RCA auxiliary input, two microphone combination jacks allowing you to connect an XLR and a quarter inch, as well as a USB-B to connect to the computer for transferring media, a USB-A port to connect a media source, and a link cable. Now this link cable is extremely important. This allows me to connect my Prime Go to a laptop that's running SoundSwitch. SoundSwitch is an automated lighting program that analyzes all my music and creates a custom light routine based on the energy level, the buildup, and the breakdowns of every song. 
So when I load a song inside the Prime Go, it will pull up the light routine inside of Sound Switch, and then simply pressing play will activate a fully automated light routine, taking all the guesswork out of lighting. It's a really quick and easy way to increase your production value on your routines using Sound Switch. So if we take a look at the front of the unit here, we have headphone output, both a quarter inch and an eighth inch. We have the ability to blend in between our cue and our mix levels and adjust the headphone output, adjust the level of the auxiliary, and then also an SD card. This allows me to store my media on an SD card and actually just leave it inside of the unit. So now let's take a look at a few unique features of the Prime Go that really set it apart. So the Prime Go is an industry first because it's actually a battery powered standalone professional DJ console. If I disconnect the power source here, we can see that I have a battery meter right here allowing me up to four hours of performance without having to plug this back in. Another really unique feature on the Prime Go is the ability to connect it to Wi-Fi, access Tidal streaming, and play any one of the 40 plus million songs that are available on Tidal. So if we go into our browse view here, you can see that I actually am in Tidal right now. I can go through, pick a song, swipe to load it. The Prime Go is now downloading that song you won't be able to access playback until the song is actually fully buffered inside the Prime Go, so you don't have any risk of audio dropout. But as soon as I load that song, it does real-time analyzation, as you saw across the top waveform there, giving me a beat grid, the BPM, and the key of the song. So let's take a look at that again. If I load up a track, it's gonna download it. At the top, we see the automatic onboard analyzation. And then as soon as that's done, I'm gonna know the BPM, the key and have a beat grid for that song. Now that information is actually stored to my connected media source. So the next time I download that song, it won't have to do the analyzation again. The analyzation file is actually stored in the connected media source, meaning that I simply have to download it and it's gonna be ready to play. So another really unique feature about the Prime Go, alongside the battery powered and the ability to stream music directly off the internet is the fact that it is completely standalone. Here at Den and DJ, we're really pushing the concept of standalone. You no longer need a computer to prepare your music or anything like that. You can simply load brand new files into the unit. It will auto analyze a track, set a beat grid, set a key detection and the BPM. And I can then go in and make playlists and do everything like that right on the unit. And it saves it right to my connected media source without the need of any computer. All right, so let's check out how easy it is to actually create and build a custom playlist right inside the unit. So here I'm going to quickly change my source from Tidal to my connected USB stick. Here I'm in Crates. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna create a new playlist. So let's say I wanna create a new playlist. Go into edit mode, create a new playlist. And this is going to be Sweet Songs because we're here at Sweetwater. Now I can go back into my Crates, which is the overall database of all my music activate edit mode once again. I can select whatever songs I want to then bring over to that playlist. Go into my playlist, which is right here, Sweet Songs, click and hold, and it tells me that now I'm dragging those nine songs into my Sweet Songs. Go into Sweet Songs, and all the songs that I just dragged over are right there inside of my playlist. Now this is actually updating the information on my connected media source, so then I could take that media source out, I could go to the club, get on a pair of SC6000s, industry standard media players for a club, plug in my USB stick, and all that information is already updated, ready for me to perform. So another really unique feature that's only available on the Den DJ's Prime series is track preview. Now, just like the Prime 2, the Prime Go, the SC6000, the SC6000M, I can actually pre-listen to a song through my headphones from the browse screen before I actually load the track. This is a huge time saver if you have four or five different edits of a song, you're not quite sure which one you want to play, or if you have a bunch of new songs and you're not really sure exactly how that drop is, you can just preview it in the browser really quick and easily before you actually load it. Now it's done really easy just by clicking on the artwork of the track and activating the track preview. Just click on the artwork and then I can needle drop through the song, listening through my headphones, and then if that's the song that I wanna play, I just swipe over, load it to the corresponding deck, and I'm all set. 
All right, so that was a quick look at the Denon DJ Prime Go, the industry first battery powered rechargeable smart DJ console. And again, this is a fully standalone unit, no computer needed, powered by Engine OS. Now, one thing to remember about Engine OS is that it's an ever evolving ecosystem software that lives inside the unit. So as user feedback comes in and we have ideas for updates, it's constantly gonna be rolling out. So you buy it now, but in the future, it's gonna constantly be updated and future-proofed. That's even applicable to our past products like the SC5000 and the SC5000M. If you have those, you won't be left behind. The Engine OS inside will constantly be updated. So for more information, please reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer and they'll be happy to help. Thanks and have a great day.